tonight and the biggest story tonight is that Taliban has lost a few key areas. We had some pictures just come in now. We'll play out those pictures, a few still pictures from some of these areas that the Taliban has lost, according to the reports that we are picking up. And we have a few reporters on the ground as well. Look at that picture of the Afghanistan exclusive pictures on Republic TV this evening on the biggest story tonight of the Afghan flag being raised in areas that were held by the Taliban, being taken over by the Northern Alliance and the resistance force. They've lost a district in the Baglan province. As it has carried out an assault, air and sea drills near Taiwan. People's Liberation Army says that the move is a response to what it called external interference and provocations. The PLA added that it dispatched warships, anti-submarine aircraft and fighter jets to close to Taiwan. It noted that recently the United States and Taiwan repeatedly colluded in provocation and sent serious wrong signals. The army said their actions severely infringed upon China's sovereignty and undermined peace and stability in the Taiwan Strait. It termed the exercise a necessary action based on the current security situation in the area and the need to safeguard national sovereignty. Russia prepares to test nuclear-powered Skyfall missile. Recent satellite images show that Russia is indicated to be preparing to test a nuclear-powered cruise missile known as Skyfall. The missile is a controversial weapon designed to defeat the United States defense system. The satellite photos, taken on August 16 by commercial satellite imaging company Capella Space, offer strong indications that Russia is preparing to test a nuclear-powered cruise missile at a launch site known to be located near the Arctic Circle. The photos have been analyzed by experts at the Middlebury Institute of International Studies Center for Nonproliferation Studies. U.S. officials are aware that Russia may be preparing for another test of a missile, it calls the Burevistnik missile, as part of its advanced weapons program. The CIA declined to comment and the Pentagon and Russia's Ministry of Defense did not immediately respond to CNN's request for comment. Using a nuclear reactor would, in principle, give cruise missiles unlimited range to fly under and around U.S. missile defense radars and interceptors, said Jeffrey Lewis, a weapons expert at the Middlebury Institute who reviewed the satellite photos. However, there are important questions about whether the system can be made to work successfully, not to mention the threat testing of these systems can pose to the environment and human health, Lewis said. The risk, Lewis told CNN Thursday, has prompted some experts to refer to the weapon as a flying Chernobyl. The dangerous missile crashed into the White Sea in August 2019, and to recover it resulted in an explosion that killed five Russian technical personnel. At the time, Lewis told CNN that satellite imagery suggested the incident might be related to the development of a nuclear-powered cruise missile. Russia conducted at least one test flight of a nuclear-powered cruise missile from the same site near the Arctic Circle in November 2017. Moscow reportedly carried out several other tests in the months that followed, though none were deemed successful. In March 2018, Russian President Vladimir Putin released a video of a nuclear-powered cruise missile test, allowing open-source researchers, including analysts at the Middlebury Institute, to identify the location. Researchers have been monitoring the site in recent months, and satellite imagery taken by commercial satellite imaging company Planet over the summer shows cargo ships visiting the site and supplies piling up in the support area. Recently, Russia issued a warning notice to sailors of a dangerous operation to be carried out between August 15 and 20 near the known test site of Burevistnik near Pankovo in Novaya Zimlia. A high-resolution radar image taken on August 16 shows Russian personnel having set up a large environmental shelter to protect the missile and crew preparing for launch from bad weather, Lewis said. This shelter was withdrawn, revealing a large object on the launch pad, which is likely the SSC X-9 Skyfall launcher, he said. There are also a large number of objects next to the launch pad that is likely shipping vehicles and containers. None of these signatures appeared the last time the site was optically imaged in June. Dozens killed or injured as Israeli airstrikes hit Iranian-backed forces in Syria. 
all know the Japanese superpower in electronics and advanced technologies. But now, a new rise comes, as Japan has an extremely strong base of top military equipment and reliable allies like the United States. How so? Japan's neighbors are making a lot of noise, with China getting aggressive around the Senkaku Islands and in the South China Sea. Japan is stepping up its preparations to respond equally. Japan's self-defense forces commits to purchase up to 147 F-35s, produce the country's first aircraft carrier since World War II, or even furthermore develop the first sixth-generation fighter jet. Excited? So let's get...